uh, take the discussion forward and bring on board um, forum who's joining in with us uh, to talk about uh, what's happening in terms of uh, the CDMO space. Where are we seeing that headed? A lot of action that is happening here. Forum, thank you so much for joining in with us uh, this afternoon on ET now. And uh, obviously, you know, CDMO players, they have been in focus for a while. You know, we've had these discussions about the growth prospects for these companies going forward. Uh, what is your outlook on CDMO CRO players, how is it looking interesting? Where do you see uh, the growth drivers coming for these players from? Yeah, hi, thanks for having me on the show. So uh, CDMO companies uh, are witnessing a lot of inquiries because of China plus one opportunity. Also Europe plus one opportunity is playing for well for these companies uh, because we have uh, cheap laborers and most of our plants are US FDA companies in the world after US. So that is augering well for CDMO companies. Also, there is a no, uh, there is a, this is a secure law which could be passed in the US. And if that gets passed, then uh, most of the companies will definitely come to us uh, than the Chinese companies. So basically, uh, what uh, this China plus one and Europe plus one inquiries were coming into these companies will be executed fast once the biosecure law gets passed in the uh, US. But having said that, I think most of the CDMO companies have uh, corrected well enough uh, because and their base has uh, the COVID base is also over. So probably uh, the new molecules and the effects uh, will now start for these CDMO companies. So uh, among the CDMO space, we currently. Uh, we currently uh, like DVs and we believe that uh, the current uh, correction has augured very well and uh, most of the uh, base, uh, COVID base in the DVs is now behind it and uh, the new molecules and margins will pan out for DVs uh, uh, from next quarter onwards. Quite positive about DVs and hoping that the next quarter will mark, I mean this quarter will mark the turnaround and next quarter will be a better but what could derail this story for a mass for you because yes there are a lot of positive murmurs whether it's about the biotech funding environment and the kind of china plus environment which is working out but what do you think could be the impediment to that because uh, stocks like loris etc have already run up ahead of expectations at least that is what some of the analysts are uh, suggesting as well yeah so uh, we have a reduced rating on loris uh, we would like to see earnings improvement in the company so management have given a lot of positive commentary on the stock about its, about its new capacity coming on board. But we would like to see numbers playing out for Lordis. But having said that, for the entire sector, the derailment could be execution of these inquiries. Uh, irrespective of biosecure law getting passed, but then whatever orders we are seeing uh, needs to be executed fast enough. Capacity needs to be expanded. Uh, quickly to, uh, to have those additional uh, inquiries being executed. So we feel that once uh, companies that have good capacity in place like DVs would be the fast, uh, uh, would be the quick beneficiary of the uh, CDMO play. But then if companies uh, go to, I mean, who have uh, delay in setting up new capacity uh, would uh, take some time to out on the earnings numbers. Okay, so that was about Loris, why you have a reduced rating and the impediments that could be there for the sector as well. Um, Forum, just wondering, do you track Sun Pharma and the kind of slide that we are seeing on the stock today? That Dadra uh, facility wasn't expected to have a big impact, but you're reading 4% cut. Yeah, so we do have coverage on Sun Pharma. Though uh, Dadra facility has received OAR, but uh, we do most of the sun's earnings, I mean, uh, uh, it's, sun is basically a specialty focused company now. And I believe that Dadra facility does not contribute much to the uh, sun's earnings. But having said that, we have a positive view on Sun Pharma because specialty sales is doing very well, not just in the US, but global specialty sales is doing good. And even on a higher base, the management is very confident of retaining its 20% on growth in the specialty sales. 
speciality sales is picking up very well which was earlier 16 15 16% of the sales has now inched up to 20% of the sales and it's only expected to go further up uh, also apart from uh, speciality sales uh, taro business is doing good and uh, domestic is doing good for sun pharma uh, domestic uh, continues to grow in double digit led by volume growth so we believe that uh, this current connection in pharma always a very good buying opportunity forum uh, you know other than that you know anything interesting that you are finding in the pharma pack you know where do you see you know that one could ex, uh, ex good growth fundamental growth coming in from the companies so apart from sun pharma we like all the large caps uh, dr reddy's lupin uh, and also all the relevant players like zandil sun dr sipla uh, they all will benefit from the revlimid sales until uh, jan 26 and also apart from revlimid sales lupin is the one who uh, which has uh, uh, launched spiriva in the us market and there are no competitors expected to be in this drug at least for the next two years and lupin has picked up very well from its uh, earnings uh, i mean uh, on, uh, has picked up on its earnings very well earlier it had clocked some 5% EBIT. margin last year in q1 from there because of the spirit drug and other uh, new product launches ebitda margin is climbing towards 20% and we feel that this will continue to go up for lupin uh, also its pitamper unit 2 which was under oai for a very long time has got clearance and through this plant ophthalmic products will get launched uh, many first to file uh, opportunities so stock we feel has a very good potential despite the steep rally and we have a target price of 1868 on lupin but having said that dr reddy's is also a very good buying of right very good buying uh, because of revlimid <laughs> and restructuring sure. in its business. sorry for I'm a little short on time but we do take your point on lupin and dr reddy's but time now to slip into very short break because the market is slipping we'll address that when we come back If you like this video then like share and subscribe to ET Now